Hello friends, hope you are fine and having fun with your lives. Uh, today I am going to share DC motor speed control using Arduino. I have designed the simulation in Proteus software. Uh, in my previous post as well as in my previous video, I have shown how to control the direction of a DC motor using Arduino. And if you remember uh, that in the, uh, in the tutorial, I have used two relays and uh, I have used these relays to change the direction of DC motor. Uh, when you turn on one relay then and turn off other relay, the motor moves in the clockwise direction and if you change the uh, relay sequence then the motor moves in the anti-clockwise direction. And today I am going to extend that tutorial and uh, I am going to add the speed control in it. Previously we have seen the direction control and today I am going to combine the, both these controls and today we are gonna control both the direction and the speed of DC motor. So if you wanna read my previous tutorial then you can click on this link here and uh, can check the DC motor direction control tutorial. Uh, if you wanna check this tutorial then you can get the link from the description of this video. I have posted the link in the description. So when you click on that link you will get to this tutorial which is DC motor speed control using Arduino. So, uh, DC motor uh, speed control is quite uh, essential for engineering projects. Uh, for example, you are working on some robot, then you need to move that robot in both forward and reverse direction. So, for that purpose, you have to use the direction control, but it happens in most cases when you have to control the speed as well. Uh, like, suppose you want to implement the PID algorithm on some robot like uh, I have a project in which I have to control the uh, robot uh, on two wheels it was a self balancing robot so in order to balance that robot I have used PID algorithm on these DC motors and I have applied the PID algorithm on DC motors uh, I have controlled the speed of DC motor like suppose one motor is moving fast then I have to slow that speed and if other is moving slow, then I have to increase that DC motor speed. And for that, I have used the same technique which I'm gonna present now. So, along with direction, uh, direction control, speed control is also very essential in engineering projects. So let's uh, get started with it. Uh, as I told earlier, the link of this tutorial is given in the description of this YouTube video. When you click on that link, you will get to this tutorial. And from the, uh, this tutorial, you can download the DC motor simulation by clicking this button. When you click it, you will get this download, start download, open it. And yes, uh, I haven't bought this uh, Vinaria. And uh, you will find a folder in it, DC motor speed control using Arduino in Proteus. When you open it, you will find a simulation in it. Here is the simulation. I am gonna start this simulation. Moreover, in the the this ARIA file which you just downloaded from that link, you will also find a an Arduino code. DC motor speed control. This is the Arduino code. I'm clicking OK. And uh, next thing we need to do is to get the hex file for this Arduino code. So. As I have explained many times, I'm gonna go into preferences and tick the compilation, clicking OK. And uh, now I'm compiling this code, OK. And here's the link for hex file. So I'm gonna copy this link and I'm gonna double click it and paste it in the program file section of Arduino board. If you don't have this Arduino library installed then you should uh, check my Arduino library for Proteus. Uh, I'm gonna click OK. Now you can see uh, in this uh, simulation it's, it's the same simulation as I've done for the previous project. Same relays, two relays, uh, relays. here are the relays and these are the optocouplers, here are the transistors. Uh, using which I am controlling the uh, DC motor and uh, 
Now here's the part which uh, which is doing the speed control. This NPN transistor is controlling the speed of this DC motor. I have applied the signal at uh, the base of this uh, NPN transistor, and this PWM signal is uh, generating uh, generated from pin number six of Arduino board. And if you check, pin number six is the PWM pin of Arduino. And I'm controlling this PWM signal via this LDR sensor. I am taking this uh, its uh, input on the analog pin of Arduino A0 and from this analog pin uh, pin uh, I am controlling the PWM signal. So in simple words I am getting the input from this LDR sensor and on the basis of this input I am generating the output PWM signal which is again controlling the DC motor. So now I am going to start the simulation so in order to start it I have to click this run button and when I run it the motor is stationary it's not moving so I have to give A and I have given A it started mo moving in anti-clockwise direction now if I want to slow this motor then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase LDR and you can see as, the, as I am increasing the LDR my motor speed has decreased and you can see it's now moving at quite slow speed now if I decrease this LDR then you can see my motor start moving in the moving faster so by using this LDR I am controlling the speed of my DC motor now let's say I wanna move it in clockwise direction and I wanna press C and you can see in the clockwise direction it is moving with the same speed as it was moving in anti-clockwise direction so now again I'm gonna click on minus and you can see it's moving faster and now my DC motor is moving faster and if I wanna slow it then I have to click on plus and it will become slow now if I wanna stop my DC motor then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply click enter S and it has stopped because both of the relays are now on uh, still it's getting the PWM signal from the sensor but this PWM signal is not going forward because both the relays are on so both both of uh, both terminals of this motor are on PWM so whatever PWM we are generating here is going to this motor so there's no potential difference that my motor is stopped so if I want to move it again, then I press simply A. So <coughs> that's how I'm controlling the speed of DC motor. And not only speed, I'm also controlling the direction of DC motor. So you can control both the direction and speed of DC motor by using this method. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and uh, it will help you in some way. Subscribe our YouTube channel and also subscribe our blog using your email here and like our post and share it as much as you can. Take care. Bye-bye.